welcome to this week's video or today's video or whenever you're watching it <laughs> on multiplying polynomials and then I will do another video on binomial expansion okay because uh, they're kind of two separate things so like I usually say you should get on a sheet of paper because you're not gonna learn this by osmosis I already have a degree I know what I'm doing you need to know that you know what you're doing okay um, so yeah so we're gonna get started math with Miss B math with Miss B there's a thousand of the places that you'd rather be but you're watching math with Miss B Okay, so first we want to talk about if you're doing a monomial times poly polynomial. Wow. Um, so that's just one term being distributed into all the other terms. This is super easy and most of y'all are like pretty good at this already, right? So I'm going to multiply fg times f to the fourth power. So that now means that I'm going to get f to the fifth power and then the g, there was nothing to multiply it by, so it's just g, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to distribute again the fg, but now to the next term, which is 2 fg, I mean f cubed g. So the 2 is going to come down and then f times f cubed is f to the fourth and then g times g is g squared, right? So you want to do everything separately. You want to do the coefficient, you want to do the f's, and then you want to do the g's, okay? Um, let's do the next one. So I'm going to do fg and then I'm going to do times negative 3 f squared g squared. So that's going to go ahead and give me negative 3, bringing that down, f times f squared is f cubed and then g times g squared is going to give me g cubed um and then of course last but not least we're going to go ahead and do the last one okay so f times f is f squared g times g cubed is going to give me g to the fourth power okay you want to distribute into everything all right so that's basically what we're doing this whole time we're just doing a lot of distributing okay um so you're going to distribute and combine like terms um, so when I have more than one term, so now I'm doing a polynomial times polynomial. So I technically have a binomial times a trinomial right now. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do the a times 2. So that's going to give me 2a, right? And then we're going to do a times negative 5a. So I'm going to bring down the negative 5 and I'm going to do a times a. So that's a squared. Yes. And then I'm going to do a times a squared. And then that is going to give me a cubed. So once we're done with the a's, whoop, 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 then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the negative 3. So negative 3 times 2 and that's negative 6. And then I'm going to do the negative 3 times negative 5a, and that's going to give me, what, positive 15a. And then I'm going to do negative 3 times a squared, and that's going to give me negative 3a squared. But the extra step here is I have to check and see if there are like terms. Like terms are when you have the same variable part. So that means, in this case, that a squared and a squared go together, okay? Um, so I go ahead and I combine those, all right? Um, and then I put them in descending order. So biggest exponent first, so a cubed. I'm gonna do the squares, they're gonna come together. And then we're gonna change, and I look at the a's, because the a's have like terms, so they gotta go together. They family, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna have those two, so that's gonna be 17a. And then that is my final answer, because I combined everything else. Oh wait, is it? I'm lying. I be saying stuff, that negative six, poor negative six, you don't got a buddy, it needs a buddy. So here, that's my final answer, my bad. Okay, <laughs> um, so now we're gonna go ahead and do a trinomial times a trinomial. So now this is about to get long, guys, because I have to distribute everything in that first set of parentheses, the y squared, the negative seven y, and the five, to everything in the second set. So y squared, negative y, and negative three. So hold your horses, it's gonna be a long one. Okay, so y squared times y squared is gonna go ahead and give me y to the fourth. And then I'm going to do y squared times negative y, and that's going to give me negative y cubed. And then I'm going to do y squared times negative 3, and then I'm going to get negative 3y squared. So after I do that, then I'm going to move on to the middle, right? So I'm going to do the negative 7y times all three of those. So negative 7y times y squared, that's going to give me negative 7y cubed. Uh, negative 7y times negative y, that's going to give me positive 7y squared. And then I'm going to do negative 7y times negative 3. That's going to give me positive 21y. <sighs> now we're going to go again. So now I'm going to move on and I'm going to do the 5. 5 times y squared is 5y squared. And then I'm going to do negative 5y. And then 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. So of course we have to move on to the second step, right? I want to distribute, but I also want to combine some like terms, okay? 
So once I go ahead, I gotta do, I gotta pay attention because the first thing I want is, because we want everything in descending order. So that means biggest exponent to smallest exponent. So before we work on those threes, what we're gonna work on is y to the fourth power, right? Y to the fourth power comes down and then I could work on y to the third power. So the y cubes, right? Those little purple y cubes. So they're gonna come together and get give me negative eight y cubed. So after I do that, then what I want to pay attention to is the squares. I have three squares, so I have to combine all three of them, negative three, seven, and five, right? Um, so that's going to give me y, nine y squared. Oh, we got a little bigger, fancy. <laughs> so I did the fours, I did the threes, I did the twos, so now I have to do the ones, right? So 21y and then minus five y, so that's going to give me what? It's going to give me 16y, I love, we love to see it, okay? And then obviously we have to do our zero exponent so that no variable so negative 15 are constant okay and that'd be our answer um ooh, this is so radios oh another monomial so at this point of the video what's happening is i want you to try on your own so remember i told you to take out a sheet of paper mm -hmm. so i need to take out a sheet of paper after you take out a sheet of paper then you are going to try these problems on your own so i'm gonna i'm gonna wait <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm not gonna wait. You should pause the video and try this one on your own. It's just a monomial times a binomial. So you have four y squared times y squared. It's gonna give you four y to the fourth. And then I have four y squared times three. That's gonna give me 12 y squared. Yay me. That's easy, monomials are easy. Try this one on your own. Again, pause the video. <laughs> All right, so we have a lot of variables in this one, right? So remember, you have to do coefficients times coefficients, c's times c's, and then d's times d times b's. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna do three times four, that's gonna give me 12, c times c squared is gonna give me c cubed, and then d squared times d is gonna give me d cubed, okay? So we'll move on to the middle one. So I'm gonna do three times negative six, that's gonna give me negative 18, right? I'm gonna do c times c, that's c squared, and then d squared times c, that's d cubed. Um, and then we're gonna do three times 14, which is 42, and I'm gonna do c times c, that's c squared, and d squared times d squared is d to the fourth. Okay, so now we're gonna do binomial times trinomial. Again, but we have a lot of letters, so you have to pay attention to what you're multiplying when you're each monomial times each monomial. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do 3b times all of those things. So 3b times 3b squared is, three times three is nine. b times b squared is b cubed. And then I'm gonna do 3b times bc. So three times negative one is negative three. And b times b is b squared, and then the c, I'm just gonna bring it down, because you can't forget about nothing, okay? Nothing, nothing is wasted. So then after I do that, I'm gonna do three times negative two, and I'm gonna get negative six. b is no, times nothing, and then c squared comes down. So b came down, c squared came down. After I do that, of course, I can't just stop there. I gotta go ahead, and I gotta go, oh man. Negative two c times 3b squared, so that's gonna give me a negative six, and then a b squared, and then a c. You always wanna keep your variables in ABC order. I'm gonna say that a few more times. So b's always come before c's, because they gotta be ABC order. So and then after I do that, then I'm gonna get negative two times negative one, so that's positive two, and then, um, and then the c, b, the b came down, and then I have the c squared, right? And then I'm gonna, you saw me looking at the screen. I thought I made a mistake, but I didn't. Um, so then I'm gonna do negative two times negative two, so that's gonna be positive four, and C times C squared is C cubed, yay. But remember, what's our second step when we're doing binomials or polynomials times polynomials? You have to distribute, but then you also have to combine like terms, okay? So you wanna do the highest exponent of the Bs, because remember, Bs come first, because ABC order, so Bs come before Cs. So you're looking at the Bs and the highest exponent of the Bs. So first you're gonna put, 9b cubed because I'm leading with the b's. You want to lead with the letter that comes first in the alphabet, okay? Then after you do the b cubes, then you want to do the b squareds, right? So I'm going to go ahead and combine that negative 3 and that negative 6, and I'm going to get negative 9. Notice that the b squared and the c stay the same. It's not b to the fourth and c squared all of a sudden. Like when you're combining like terms, the variables stay the same. It's just the coefficient that changes in this step, okay? So then after I do the B squared, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pay attention to just the Bs and I'm gonna combine negative six and two. So that's gonna go ahead and give me negative four. Um, and then after I do the Bs, I wanna do what's left, which is the, the part with no Bs at all, right? So that lonely four C cubed is gonna come down and that's my final answer.
okay? So remember, when there's lots of variables, you put the variables in ABC order, and your final answer has to be whatever the first variable is, you want to do that in order from least to greatest, from biggest to smallest, okay? Excellent. All right, another polynomial times a polynomial, for a three by three, ladies and gentlemen. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing I keep doing, x squared times x squared is x to the fourth, but this time I didn't draw any arrows. <laughs> then I'm gonna do x squared times five x, so that's gonna give me five x cubed, and I'm gonna do x squared times negative two, and that's gonna give you negative two x squared. Ta-da! And then after I do that, I'm gonna move on to negative four. So now I'm gonna do negative four x times x squared, so negative four x cubed, and I'm gonna do negative four x times five uh, x, and that's gonna give me negative 20 x squared. I'm gonna do negative four x times negative two, and that's gonna give me positive eight x. Whew, now the last step. I'm gonna distribute the one. So one times x squared is x squared, one times five x is five x, and then one times negative two is negative two. But what do you have to do? Everybody say it. Combine like terms. Good job. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna combine all my like terms in one fell swoop. Boom, okay. Uh, x to the fourth was by itself, so it stays like that. I put my cubes together, so the x to the power of threes, and then I put my squares together, there was three of those, and then I put just the x's, and then the constant was by itself, okay? That is multiplying polynomials in a nutshell. Like I say, at the end of every video, ladies and gentlemen, you should go back to this video. You should take out that sheet of paper. You should see if you can get the same answers without my help, okay? And if not, I will see you in the next one.